Now, this is a report I did on Melcom. Bogus, mamma, and Sremi. If you are Mitchum, Messa Cassim Yachum. This is the Achimota Melcom. Um, this morning, there was it was reported that the whole building has caved in. Um, we're hoping to see a couple of machines who is going to help with the rescue of the workers here. We are still at the Achimota Melcom which actually caved in this morning. We have a couple of the workers trapped in there. They're trying everything possible to get them out. We have the military service, the police here. We have the NADMO here. And then the Red Cross are also helping out. Um, reports which has indicated that there are a couple of workers in there stuck under the building. What we're hearing or the reports we're getting is um, they're crying for water. they also making phone calls to their relatives, telling them the situation in there is a bit dark, it's a bit hot. And um, it's quite hectic here. So you, you still have to follow us to see what we have for you. We have not seen any substituted machine uh, with the rescue. Uh, you could see only bulldozers and the police and the army trying to help manually. But um, we we're expecting to see a couple of machines, uh, at least some sensors and all that. Nobody's able to get in there. They're talking to them through phones and also um, a couple of gadgets. The, the building has totally collapsed. It's collapsed. You have all the workers down there. A couple of them have been rescued and taken to a couple of hospitals around. So, so, so basically, you are with the insurance company. Um, does your your coverage area covers security stuffs like this? Because normally, when it happens like this, they try to cover only the items in it, as you already said. Does it cover the individuals? Well, it doesn't cover the individuals. Our liability is only it has to do with the contents. With the contents. Yes, for now. So, um, whatever happens to them in their business, in the business stance, you don't really care about it. Well, for now, our liability is only up to the contents. Uh, sure. Let's go, let's go. Okay, the nicely they are driving us away. Watch here. Now, <laughs> um, so now you see that typical black Lebanese, though. I don't know, you really look like a typical black Lebanese, yeah. We just didn't just just get up one day and you saw us here. Uh, now I can say, oh, um, Kevin, there, or your blogger. Now, like Kevin, there, he just... Uh, you know the funny thing? Do you know the person who was with me shooting was my wife? Every documentary I have done worldwide, it was my wife who shoots it. Behind, if I'm reporting, she's shooting. So, when the documentary is being a baller, so I'm a baller, okay, so I'm a baller was my wife standing with me El ball at him. She's a professional. She didn't look at that, my black face or my, my Timberland shirt. But it was job we had to do. And sometimes when I see people talk about what does this guy know? What does this guy know? Well, he doesn't know what is happening. And I'm saying, you don't know what you're talking about. It was my wife. On the Kuta camera, no? And it was tough because... Jack, let's not go there. But I want people to have an idea of the the job. What we know and when we speak, you need to understand why we are exposing criminals because I have been there. People don't take responsibility. And remember, majority of my, my, my documentaries, it, it was done during the NDC time. One of my biggest do documentaries was on energy crisis in Ghana. Africa Energy Project. Who was president? That was doomed to time. Meboa. Why are you not telling me, says, I do some here, you know, I you're born or Al Jazeera, you're born or La Stampa, you're born or sir. Why didn't you say, say, that time, you know, Nami NDC? So it's the, sometimes we want you people to understand. We are doing a job because we have to do the job, irrespective of who is in power. Into me, my back, my court ground, and I make a say, this government is the worst in our history. Believe me.